Hey guys, what's going on? I had some requests to go over the Endpoint Configuration Manager on uh, FreePVX, which is a, a front end for Asterisk. Um, it's a pretty simple install um, with a default install of a new FreePVX free appliance. Um, it, it already comes with this uh, enabled, I believe. If not, you'll go over here to the admin, um, and then you'll come over to module admin and install it or update it or all of the above. Um, by default, it'll give you some errors right here in the top. Um, they're pretty simple errors to follow, so I'm not going to cover them now. Um, they're not really errors, they're just information telling you how to set up the TFTP server, which is what you use for the phone and the server to communicate with each other. So things to note is uh, you'll have to have this uh, address right here um, correct, and you can do that just by pressing the terminus for me, or if you know I just go ahead and enter it. Make sure you have this selected as TFTP, um, because that's what we, we're going to use in my tutorial. And your global final config firmware directory should be the same directory that you use for your TFTP server. Uh, set your time zone, your time server, which is really important if you want your time on your phones to be correct. Um, all of this is default and you can leave it. Uh, same with the package server. And the only thing that I will note down here that you need to change uh, is the allow duplicate extensions. And I'll cover that here in a minute. So, after you've done all this, you can go ahead and move on to OSS endpoint configuration. And all you're going to do is um, come down through here and select uh, install for any phone that you may have, any brand of phone that you may have. Um, so, for instance, really, um, for instance,
Okay, guys, you get to see me troubleshoot this side hand. That was really weird. Apparently, when Ryan installed the uh, the Digium packages, it also removed something from Polygon. So there's a weird hook there. That's a good bug. I should report that. So I have the Polygon 501. So we're going to enable that template. And then I also have the Polygon 550. And I'm going to enable that template. And then I'm going to come over here to the endpoint device list. And thankfully, it looks like it kept my I kept my templates here, so I'm happy about that. So you can see here that you enter your MAC address, your brand. So you'll put your MAC address there, your brand, your model, and then your line information. You only do the first line um, when, you, when you're adding a brand new phone, but once you add it, you can click Edit on that phone, and then you can just add more. So you can see the Polycom can take up the, up the four. So let's go ahead and add a new one here. And I'm going to save this. And then you always want to uh, select that phone that you just altered and rebuild the configs for. And I'm going to reboot the phone and make sure everything's working as it should. Because um, to be completely honest, that was really weird. Um, so menu. My phone. Let me start the phone, and it should come back up with the new config, as you see here. Um, yeah, um, so what was important on the last page is I said you have to check the uh, allow duplicate extensions, and that's so you see I have um, down here my extension, I have Nicole assigned to this phone. If you don't check that, you won't be able to reassign this to a different phone. So that's, that's where it becomes really important. Um, once this phone comes back up, that'll be nice. Um, some good things to see over here is you can select reboot phone and it'll automatically reboot phones, but that only works half the time. Um, so while I'm waiting for that to come up, I'll explain. So you might ask, how does your phone and your server communicate with each other when the phone reboots? How does it know to talk to the asterisk server and you know grab the config that you want it to have? Um, one second. So the way that you do that, okay, I just rebooted again. So it looks like I did grab the uh, the new config. Um, the way that you do that is you enable which is called uh, the phone talks to DHCP, and it uses option 66, DHCP option 66, and DHCP will actually tell the phone um, where the server is that it needs to grab it. Uh, off of TFTP, so that's why we, uh, you know, configured the TFTP server earlier. And that option 66, I have it enabled in my wireless router, um, which is uh, DDWRT. You can see DHCP option 66, and then I have the IP address of my server. So on the phone, whenever I do my boot method, I just select boot method on the phone as DHCP option 66, and it automatically knows to talk to the uh, to talk to the the DHCP server to get, it, to get its config information. So after it talks to the, the DHCP server, it'll come over here and it'll pull the right configs. And the way that the configs are uh, are labeled within the phone is it does it by MAC address and then so on and so forth. So you can see here the template name would be named custom um, 004F21, um, you know, etc., etc. So I think that's it. Um, at least you get to see me troubleshoot something. If you uninstall the templates, you end up having to uh, uninstall it and reinstall it because there's some weird hooks in there. But uh, if you have any other questions, just feel free to leave comments, and I'll be sure to uh, try to help you out as best as I can.